שלום וברכה מוריי ורבותיי, שלום וברכה, ראש חודש אדר טוב ומבורך, בעזרת השם נמיר את זה הולי דיי אב ראש חודש אדר, הקדוש ברוך הוא בעזרת השם, ווספל אין אביון שפעת בלידיי, ברכה, הצלחה, עשייתי נשמעי גדולה, הקדוש ברוך הוא בעצם אופן אב אול הגייטס אב שפעב, אמי בית השם הוא יהיה אמנט, לייק מות חז"ל, מי שנכנס אדר, מרבים בשמחה, הוא יהיה אמנט פול אב הפינס, פול אב גוד נוז, ופול אב מירקולס, אמן כניאצון. Being in a month of miracles, like we mentioned, the month of Adar is a month, Chazal say, go do business, go out in the field, you will have miracles, everything you do. There's a main ingredient that the Zohar HaKadosh in the Torah in so many places talks about in order to achieve miracles, presence of Hashem, Shekhinah, Hashem's hand within our life. What is this ingredient? What is this uh, very, very basic platform in order for Hashem to exist in our lives? Chazal say, happiness. Where happiness is a key ingredient. And it's something that we can see throughout the Torah in many, many places. We know that Yaakov Avinu Alav Shalom, when he heard that Chaya Ra Achalatu, an evil animal, ate Yosef, immediately a sadness fell upon him. And the moment that sadness fell upon him, Hashem disconnected with him. That for all the years that Yosef was lost, eaten alive, not alive, Yaakov didn't know, Yaakov was completely cut off from Ruch Kodesh and from all presence of Hashem. So the question that we had is why is it that happiness is really so important for God to be present? Usually when something happens, especially from a spiritual level, there's a reason behind it. What, Hashem doesn't want to be around negative energy? That's the reason? Hashem is sensitive that He doesn't want to be around people that are not happy? That can't be the reason. That means that there must be a very, very clear um, understanding of why happiness is a key ingredient for receiving from above. Shina Abba Tehzo HaKadosh is something very, very simple. And I think it's so much more simpler than we can possibly imagine. Shina Abba our minds... And our bodies work in a way where where our head and where our body acts and leads us, so too has a power of leadership on a spiritual level. We think that sometimes when we think about something, it stays in our head. Not at all. The mind is essentially the connection between our physical world and the spiritual world. Our thoughts is the closest thing that we can get to a spiritual world. That's why Kavana is so important. Because the Kavana is essentially the depth and the richness of anything that we do. Because what is more spiritual than the action itself? It's the Kavana, it's the Ratzon. It's more spiritual than an action. Zohar Kadosh says, the way we think reflects in the way that we act with our bodies. And the way that we act with our bodies will reflect on how spirituality that action is, how far it will go, what effect it will have, etc. So I say, if you want to understand why happiness is so important for receiving bracha, just look at the action in which a person's body acts when he is sad. So Zohar says, when he is sad, he is closed. A man bends into himself. A man seals himself off from all that exists above him. Zohar says, when a man is sad, it's not just his action that reflects that sadness. It stems from what's going on in his mind. And his mind is the key to spirituality. It's the closest thing to spirituality. A closed mind, a sad body, is a person that is completely closed off all that exists above. On the opposite side, a happy person is the exact opposite. He's open. His hands are, are open wide. His face is, is aura. There is light stemming from his face. A happy person is a person that his spirituality, his consciousness is open to receive. The Zohar says, the only reason why Simcha is so important for us receiving Hashem's presence, because that's the only way that your, your whole being is open to receive. You can't receive if you're closed off. Rabbi we are in a month of the ability to receive Shefa and miracles and abundance in ways that we cannot imagine. The key is very, very simple. Be happy. Keep your eyes open. Keep your hands open. And Be'ezrat Hashem, Hashem hand will be uh, vested on us in order that Be'ezrat Hashem will see miracles in all our endeavors. Amen. Amen.